Like, is this, is this how normal pigeons fly? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Oh God. I think I broke something. What's going on guys? My name is the Wolf Race and welcome back to another episode of Besiege Creations Gameplay. To start off with, this map is called the Village of Elisoria, I believe, and the creation is called the Pigeon. Now, this map is actually really cool and there's actually supposed to be a boss right here, this middle guy. He's supposed to be a juggernaut boss, apparently. I, I don't really know, but it it's there. It's pretty cool. We can also get a nice little look all around the landscape here. There's some kind of floating island up there. That's pretty cool. Also some kind of wall in the distance. Another little village over in this area and another right there. I like any map that has a lot of detail and this is definitely one of them. Honestly, I don't know why I'm starting with a flying creation because usually that ends badly, but you know, I, I like to live on the dangerous side. Doesn't need invincibility mode on, so let's go and turn that on. And to flap the wings, it is G and J, so let's go and try to do that right off the bat here. There we go. Okay, it's actually working. I will have to turn on the time scale a little bit. Sorry about that. Let's go and try this again. G and J, no big deal. And to turn it, it will be T and U, so let's go and try to get it up into the air and then we can actually worry about turning it. Um, this is, it, it's not quite flying just yet. Maybe I had to try to figure out the strategy to actually get it going. There we go, buddy, you can do this. Like, am I supposed to just hold one key? I, I tried doing that and that didn't work. Oh, there we go, that kind of worked. What, what button was that? I think that was H. Uh, yeah, H kind of makes it fly in some kind of weird way. Uh, tilt bird back is what's supposed to be. Okay, I see. I usually just go in whatever order the creator actually puts in the description, so I apologize for that. But yeah, H is to tilt backwards or back, and Y is to forward thrust, so that will probably help us out quite a bit if we try to get up into the air. You can also fold the wings in, so let's go and try to do that, just like that. Oh, that's actually like the little dive bomb thing that birds do. Then we can also put those right back out with K, no big deal. Oh, okay, he kind of did a little face plant there. I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but that's fine. There's also O and L to engage, disengage the orientation lock, which will freeze the bird's orientation in place and only allow her trans translation in 3D space. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of big words that I don't completely understand, so we're, we're just going to fly it like normal. Just got to try to get this thing up into the air. Come on, buddy, you can do this, little pigeon. Why, why do you have to act like so derpy? Like, is this is this how normal pigeons fly? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Maybe if we tilt back with the H button and then try the forward thrust, which is Y. Here we go, we're just going to tilt back and then forward thrust. Uh, I hit the wrong button, sorry about that. Okay, this is forward thrust, but it doesn't really seem to be going forward. Oh, it kind of is, a little bit, sort of. Not really, though. Come on, little pigeon, you can do it. Yeah, just hit against the building. That that will help you out, just get you up into the air a little bit. Come on, now you're stuck in the freaking trees. I know you're a bird, but th this is not the time for trees, this is the time for flying. There we go, just crash through the wall, no big deal. Okay, you know, just bird things. Oh, we're kind of in the air, we were in the air for like a solid two seconds right there that that felt pretty nice try to turn right over here it actually does turn it just takes a little bit of flapping to actually do it here we go a little bit more just to try to get it over to this area i want to see what this village in the background is supposed to be or whatever it is like a stone monument wall thing i don't really know we're gonna check it out though oh i see now if you hold the forward thrust and then the turn button you can actually turn on the ground a lot easier so if you guys want to check this out for yourself which i highly recommend uh yeah that that's how you actually turn it on the ground okay you know what i i, I don't think this is gonna work he, he just doesn't seem to want to fly so we're just gonna go ahead and use the camera to zoom around a little bit and uh, check out the map before we check out another creation just so you know i can make sure that i do check out everything wind liar less jungle knot drafts cool uh that's just some kind of little ramp down there what i'm really interested in is this over here yes this looks pretty cool is it actually supposed to be like an arena? Oh, there's a little person in there. Hello, little knight. Um, it doesn't really seem like too epic of a place, though. Just a nice little wooden, or stone fortress. That That's what I was trying to say, not wooden. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's just a nice little fortress thing. You can't really see too much because there's, there's just too much here. But yeah, it, it's pretty nice. Oh, and I think that door at the front is actually destructible as well. So let's go ahead and just grab this right over here and pull this out just like that. Get wrecked, buddy. Okay, you think you could be safe in your little fortress? No. And up over here, there's this little floating town thing that is supported by these balloons, I suppose. That, that That's supposed to be the illusion anyway. And it actually looks pretty good. It looks like a cloud from below, sort of, you know, as much like a cloud as you can make in this game. Oh, there's also something all the way over here in the distance. Oh, those are actually jumps, I think. Yeah, there's a couple of jumps that come right off the mountain, so it wouldn't really make sense. Still very cool, though. Over here, there is another little village right beside it to the left. This looks pretty cool as well. Oh, what's this floating in the middle? Oh, that's supposed to be ammunition. That, that That's pretty cool. Nice and handy. Some bombs inside of there. Dude over there doing his thing. Uh, some fireballs back in here because you can never have enough of those. I don't really know what this over here on the right is, but it's there. Can I take the ball from it? Can we just take that out of here? There we go. Oh, crap. I accidentally kicked out of the window. Okay, but yeah, anyway, it, it's rolling off now, so take that. I, I misplaced your things. Oh, and the road to actually go into that place with the ramps over there is pretty nice as well. You guys see it has like that little ramp and stuff. I, I just appreciate the details that people put into things, you know? I, I just like to try to appreciate them. Okay, this over here is another little village with a statue. Let's go ahead and just get rid of that. Oh, oh, I clicked it and that happened. Oh, God. I, I think I broke something. But now it's shooting over to the other village for some reason. Like, why? What is this? Why did you feel the need to do that? And as soon as he killed someone, he fell over. And, oh, nope, he's getting back up. Okay, dude, why, what is your problem? Why do you have to be so rude to people? You're just gonna, okay, you're just gonna keep doing that. 
That's fine. Yeah, this is a nice little village over here as well. I suppose this knight just goes around and kills people. He seems like he just wants to kill everyone, like he killed everyone right here in front of him there. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. I've never seen this before, so... Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool though. Again, just a little bit of a village, and there's also something lastly over here. I think this is the last of the map. Just a nice little stone bridge thing that goes up to the mountain. I don't know how else to explain that, so I apologize I was doing it very slow there because my brain just doesn't work too well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all it is, just a mountain. Nice. And for the last of this thing, let's go ahead and try to fly into the boss here because I believe it has some kind of wind drafts, like it's supposed to blow you around and stuff, and with this thing being a bird, maybe that'll work out. Maybe that'll be the way that it actually flies, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and try to flap into it and see if we can actually do this. We're coming in at the right angle, got a little bit stuck on a tree, that, that's standard, it happens. Try to get at least just close to the boss thing and see if anything happens. Oh, it, it kind of is blowing us to the ground. Do you guys see that? Like, I'm trying to flap here, but it's not flapping because the wing is, like, pushed against the ground. That's kind of cool, I suppose. What happens if we spawn in directly underneath of it? That's what I need to find out right now. Let's go ahead and hide the stuff and then start this off. Oh, it lagged. Oh no. Oh, there we go. We're right against the ground. Yeah, this thing's really cool. If you guys want to check the pigeon out for yourself, I highly recommend that. The link will be down below in the description. But I think we're going to play around this map just a little bit more for the next one. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. I just realized how long I was playing with that pigeon, but this one is called the Mech 2 Armored Core. As you guys can see, it's it, it's a mech, so it's supposed to be a mech and do mech things. Going down the list of the controls from the start, G is for the arcade view, so let's go ahead and press G. I pressed it multiple times as well, and it didn't happen. It doesn't happen, so it, I guess it's I guess it's working. W A S D for 2D movement. But that would move the camera unless the camera is actually yeah. You guys see it's not actually like synced onto the thing. Like why is this? I'm pressing G. The G is definitely being. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is the G key being mashed. I, I don't know. Apparently we can aim this thing all around, so let's go and just do a little bit of that. Okay, yeah, it's just pretty much the way that it can move. Oh oh gosh, I, I don't know what button I pressed, but it's not firing crossbows. So. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, you can aim it around here, no big deal, it's pretty easy. Alt is to jump, so let's go and try to jump. Oop, try the other one. Just like that. Oh, I think you had to hold it. Oh, wait, okay, it's kind of like a... I don't know exactly what it's doing, but th that's as much as it jumps right there. Good jump, buddy. I mean, I always knew I believed in you. There's also a downforce button, which is probably needed for how big this thing is, and considering there's probably balloons holding it up as well, so let's go and try that out, which is the one key, I believe. Try that out, one. Okay, so you guys saw it raised up just a little bit. Now it goes back down. Okay, it just does like this little thing there. Cool. There's also some arm guns, but I think I already used those. I'm not exactly sure. I, I hear something happening there. Uh, let's, let's just go ahead and start this over again. But yeah, I think I used those. That was the crossbows. Yep, there we go. There's also a laser cannon fire, but I don't have the laser mod installed because I don't know how to do that. Honestly, I will admit I'm not very smart. I'm not very good with the mods and no one has ever showed me how to do it. So yeah, I don't have the laser mod. That's fine. There's also supposed to be a laser sword, but... Yeah, whatever. Of course, I still check them out so that if you guys want to check them out for yourself, you guys know what to expect, all that great stuff. Uh, there's also a launcher fire, but it says launcher. You know, like lunch, like you eat lunch. So I thought that was kind of silly, but let's go and try that. That is like the hyphen key, I think that's called. Uh, yeah, anyway, like the little... Oh, there we go. I really do like how this thing looks, though, but I wish that the camera would actually work. Like, I I'm totally pressing G. I'm going to try to... Oh, oh, I pressed F. It's the F key. Okay, thank you, game, for actually working with me for once. So we can't actually control it around now, so let's go and try to move around here. This is just the W key. Oh, I think we're kind of stuck on something. I'm not sure what's going on, but we kind of turned a little bit there off the start. Uh, but yeah, but now we can just go around and wreck stuff up. Th that's my favorite thing to do in Besiege. Oh, this is pretty fun as well. If you try to get in front of it, it creates this nice little effect sort of thing. Sorry about like the weird mouse movements. My mouse is in a little bit of a weird setup right now. And we're freaking stuck on this tree, stupid tree. Oh, I think it's because you can't actually knock these trees over. Also, are we upside down? I can't tell what's going on. Something is happening though. Yeah, we're upside down. Okay, well, we'll just try that again. So this thing actually kind of worked out, so that's always nice. Uh, but yeah, you can actually move it around. You just press the F key, not the G key. You know, common mistakes, they happen, whatever. But of course, if you guys want to check this out for yourself, the link will be down below in the description. Let's go ahead and move on to our last creation. And for our last creation today, this one is called the Sea Moth from Subnautica. You guys may know it already, but this one is by the Sensor Studios. He creates a lot of really awesome things. I will leave the link to his channel down below. You guys should definitely go check him out. Of course, let's start off with a nice little picture all around it here, just so we can appreciate everything that he did here. It's just absolutely beautiful. The amount of detail that he puts into things is insane like i, I just can't even believe half the, half the things that he builds trying to center ourselves so we can actually get into the cockpit over here i don't know if there actually is a camera button okay yeah there is a camera button okay uh but yeah anyway we can kind of just zoom ourselves in here like this look at me i'm a sea moth pilot oh and it also floats down to the ground as soon as you start it off i don't know if that's supposed to happen but it does uh, but anyway let's go and try to drive it around here it is t f g and h to move it so let's go ahead and try to go forward here just like this you got this little sea moth just just kick your little legs you don't have legs but um, I don't know if it's moving forward. Like, I see it's moving a little bit, but I don't know. Anyway, though, two and three is to close the weapon base. I don't know where those are, but we'll just press two. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, there's a couple of weapon bays right out the front. Yep, those are definitely bays of weapons. I can see that clearly. O is for FP camera. I think that's first person camera, just like that. Ooh, that is beautiful. That's a lot better than the one I tried to do. Okay, nice. There's also C and V to shoot the cannons. Let's go try C, just like that. Whoa, that was really high powered. And the other one as well, shoot that village down. Oh, it really missed the whole entire house there? Okay, fine. B and N to shoot the torpedoes. Right screen will indicate uh, which torpedoes are left, if any. Oh, right screen. There's a screen in here? Where? Uh, is that- Oh, is that supposed to be this little thing with the, uh, like, doohickeys on it? Anyway, let's go and press B, just like that. Oh, gosh. Okay, yep, I hear it rocket going. Whoop, there it goes up into the space. I don't know why it went up that way, but that's cool. Let's go ahead and try the other one, just like that. Okay, and yeah, you guys can see these little propellers here on the front are starting to, like, float and stuff, so I think what happens is when you shoot, it kind of, like, starts to fly away. Like, the little propeller itself will just fly away, and yeah, that's how it works, I think. Again, I really never know exactly how his things work. They just- it, it, it's kind of magic. Oh, something just broke over there. Okay, no big deal. And lastly, there's some lighting. One is for the indoor light, just like that. I, I pressed it. Is it happening? I'm pressing it and unpressing it a couple times just to see if it- you know, maybe it didn't work the first time. I don't see any light. Oh, it's because I need the laser mod. Okay, yeah, now I get it. This thing's definitely really cool, but I don't know how to move it. Maybe we have to use zero G. I mean, I don't think so. He doesn't say that in the description. He's usually pretty good about like saying all these kinds of things. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, let's go and just smash right into this uh, house thing that's right in front of us because we can. Hopefully we can hit it at a decent little speed here. This isn't slow motion, so it seems a lot slower than it is. Okay, let's hope for some good destruction. There we go. Oh, wait, really? It just deflected us just like that? Are you for real? Anyway though, this thing is definitely really cool and I recommend you guys check it out for yourself. I do have to run it in such a slow speed, so maybe you guys will have a little bit better luck with it. I mean, either way, it's definitely really cool and you guys should check it out just because of how freaking awesome it looks. Also, there's like this little doohickey on the front, or on the top there. Kind of looks like a lever. Can we actually pull that? I'm gonna try- oh, I, I, I pulled it off. Oh, nope, it snapped back into place. Good. I didn't want to break it. Again, all the links to today's creations will be down below in the description. I know I really didn't check that many things out, but it's just because I spent so much time on everything that, yeah, I may have already been standing here for like an hour, if that tells you guys anything. I just have a lot of fun playing this game, that's why I keep making videos on it, and that's just how I'm going to keep doing things. If I have fun doing it, I'm going to keep doing it, and dab on the haters. So of course, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure to leave a like down below, and subscribe to join the pack, because we're pretty dang cool around here. If you guys ask me, and make sure you share the video as well because that really does help me out a lot here on YouTube and I really do appreciate it. So big hug to anyone that shares. Yeah, everyone, everyone all together. There we go. Oh, so warm. So nice. Oh, 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 something spoke to me. Oh, oh, you guys are inappropriate. Okay, finally done selling myself out and telling you guys how much I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking. I hope you have a great day. Follow your dreams and I will see you guys in the next one.